All right, so now it is time for breakfast. And, um, well, there is not much I'm planning to eat for breakfast. First off, I'm starting with this uh, yogurt with breakfast flakes. The manufacturer is um, called Blue Band, which means blue ribbon. So it's like it, the symbol there. They are a commercial food manufacturing company that's been around for for many years, and uh, they're also very well known in Sweden. They make uh, like powdered soups and uh, like uh, pasta sauce and things like that. And again, of course, it doesn't say where it was manufactured. It just says marketed by, not produced for or packaged by or whatever, but just marketed by Continental Foods Sweden AB. I assume it's made in Sweden, but you never know. Here are the uh, instructions and after eating one of these portions I will be whopping 600 calories richer. So that's an impressive amount of energy. Okay, so let's try to follow these instructions. Tear off the top, add cold water, it says somewhere. Yeah. Add more water if required, can be, can be prepared using hot water. I think I'm gonna try with cold water actually. I am also gonna eat this Bridgeford whole wheat bread. It's a 57 gram package, where 100 grams contains 360 calories, so this is so 190 calories maybe. And with that bread I will be using peanut butter, which I've been kneading around for a while because it was really obviously separated. A 40 gram pack. 240 calories or something in this little bag here and I'll have some coffee Okay, let's get started with the yogurt Tear off the top, which is oh, yeah, there are little Tears here Oops Yeah A lot of yogurt powder Smells nice. Smells like a cookie. Fold out the bottom. I guess it's these down here. Got yogurt powder all over me. Add three deciliters of cold water, level H. So to that dashed H line. Spoon. Water, uh, 300 milliliters. So according to this, I have now added 300 milliliters and depending on how, how you hold the bag, you can, well, tilt it over, you will, <laughs> it will <laughs> cover the lines. I don't think it's that exact anyway. So now I gotta mix this around, I guess, a bit. Mostly trying to make sure there are no big lumps. Dig down in the bottom as well along the edges here. So that should be enough. And now I seal this up and wait for 10 minutes. Using the, uh, the Ziploc, which doesn't seem to be working all that well. Maybe there's too much yogurt powder in it. Apparently this Ziploc doesn't work too well when there's yogurt powder in it. I'll put that aside for 10, well, it's been a while now, 9 minutes. And I'll take a look at the bread. The Bridgeford Shelf Stable Sandwich Whole Wheat Bread. Oh, no hiss. Why didn't I get the tray out? Because I thought I wouldn't be needing it, but now... Uh, there, I just went and grabbed a small plate from the kitchen. Now this bread smells, yeah, smells like preserved bread. I'll just break it in half, see what it's like. Yeah, just looks like whole wheat. Hey, is this, this looks like it's uh, cut in half. Oh yeah, it is. Or is it? No, it isn't. Or maybe, I don't know. Well, that was surprisingly easy though. So maybe it was just a big air pocket here, because it doesn't look like it's actually cut around the edges. 
Smells fine though. Let's try that with some peanut butter. I'll just try a little by itself first. It's very runny, I'm not sure if I need it enough. Yeah, tastes like any other peanut butter. Very creamy. Here we go. Mm. Uh, I don't get it. Am I the only one that gets incredibly thirsty just from one bite of something with peanut butter on? Let me just try this bread as is. Mm, this flavor of something um, containing some kind of preservative kind of annoys me. It's just so obvious that you're not eating fresh bread. I'm not expecting it to taste like fresh bread, but... So it's the same problem with this as it was in the uh, in the other bread I had. The... Uh, was it the vanilla cake? Hmm. Let's put this aside for a while. And I think this should be good to go. It's been sitting for over 10 minutes now. Yeah, it's turned into a kind of paste. It looks like um, mashed potato. Mix that around for a bit more. More liquid stuff down in the bottom and in the sides, in the, along the sides here. There we go. Smells kind of powdery. It looks yellow on the monitor here, but it's not like scrambled eggs or something. Let's give that a taste. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. It's got some grainy texture to it. And I don't mean the, the grains and the seeds, but the actual yogurt. And there's some acidity coming through, like, uh, you know, like sour milk or yogurt. Yeah, and there's some yogurt-ish, yogurt-like flavor. But it doesn't really taste like, like yogurt. It tastes more like if you ever had yogurt candy, that's closer to it. Lots of grains and seeds in there, so I'm sure this is healthy stuff and uh, like I said it was 600 calories in this bag, so this should keep you going for a long time. Hey, a piece of pineapple! Mm. I gotta have coffee. Same as yesterday. Doesn't say how much, but usual cup I guess. Slightly less than yesterday. Uh, coffee. Yeah, like yesterday. Not as bad as some of the usual powdered coffees I've had, but still not as good as brewed coffee. I'm gonna have to make some <laughs> brewed coffee after this because I'm feeling the caffeine craving. All right, so I'm gonna finish all of this and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I finished all the breakfast stuff. Now, I guess I had too high hopes up for this yogurt thing, but um, the best way to describe it is that it felt like eating mashed potatoes with wheat flavor, flour flavor, with the occasional pineapple piece and uh, lots of grains in there. Flavor-wise, um, I'm not gonna rate this very high. It wasn't bad, but it was one of those things that you eat because you know you have to eat it. The whole wheat bread had this chemical flavor and uh, I don't know, it didn't taste very much. Oh, I forgot to say where it's made. Well, now maybe not the best time to say it when I've been talking about how it doesn't taste well, but it says just for, just for completeness, made in the USA. So maybe there is the exact same thing in uh, MREs, I don't know. Not overly impressed by it. The peanut butter made it a bit better. By the way, this was produced in uh, the Netherlands. Coffee was fine, but I'm gonna have some more brewed coffee after this because I really need it. At least I'm full up now. I'm not gonna go hungry for a while, but... Well, I wouldn't exactly be looking forward to this meal if I had to eat it. I would probably know that the nutritional value is decent in this. At least I, I, uh, I think so. But again, flavor-wise... Yeah... All right, I'll see you again around dinner time. All right, welcome back. And now it's time for the fourth and final meal of this four course ration. This time I will be having chicken korma potato with um, peanuts, honey, 
I'll be having this cereal bar, cookies and cream flavor. I'll be drinking the isotonic exotic flavor drink. And I'll have this second hard candy, which is the same as the first one. And some coffee and finally some gum. So I'm gonna put this in uh, boiling water, open the rest of the stuff up and put it on the tray. All right. Let's begin with opening this cereal bar. Cookies and cream flavor. This is a 50 gram bar, 212 calories. And this also has this mysterious produced in EU. Oh, this was dark. This is like black. It smells nice. I'd say it's uh, dried fruit black. Yeah, it smells like dried fruit and uh, I don't know if there's chocolate in there, but it sure smells like it. But I guess it's mostly these rice crisps and uh, fruit syrup and stuff. Next up we have the peanut honey and it says honey flavored peanuts, 45 grams. Product of Thailand. Let's open this. Should be a vacuum hiss, I think. Yep. Yeah, so I guess they're kind of just sugar honey coated. This one looks a bit funny though. Mm. And today's drink is the Orifo Isotonic Drinking Powder Exotic Flavor. 147 calories. Made in Germany. Smells like isotonic drink. Let's pour some up. Give it a quick taste. Hmm, I wasn't very rich in flavor. Kind of underwhelming. As if I used too much water in this, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. But as flavors go, it's, um, yeah. It tastes just like an isotonic drink. I'll give these peanuts a taste. Yep, they're good. Not salty. I mean, a little bit salty. And some sweet flavor to it. Uh, honey, obviously. Yeah, a bit candy-like. Gonna give this a try as well. Will it bend? Yeah, I could break it in half. Inside, just as black. So let's give that a taste. Hmm, I can see some raisins here and um, there is obviously fruit in this, but the flavor is more of rice crispy uh, Oreo cookie flavor. Quite delicious actually. I like this. Okay, straight from the boiling water, we have the chicken korma, 400 grams, another product of Thailand. Here. Oh, this is hot. And after eating this, I will have consumed another 540 calories. So I'll tear this open. Little notch here. Oh, that smells... That's a really nice smell of... Uh, yeah, exactly what you expect to smell like. Chicken, some curry, uh, Indian smell. This will be nice, I hope. Let's do this. I guess we have mostly potatoes here and pieces of chicken. Nice big chunks of chicken. I'll just have one of these to begin with. Oh, there are some spices in here and the chicken is maybe a hair on the dry side, but I guess, you know, to make sure it's properly cooked all the way through. I'd rather have that than uh, raw chicken, right? Oh yeah, the chicken was really good. I'm gonna try a couple of these potato pieces. Yeah, potato in itself doesn't have a lot of flavor, so I'm not gonna tell you it tastes amazing, but it's not boiled too much. It's not mushy or something, you know, you can uh, let me play with the food a bit. You can... Oh, it's... <laughs> it's a bit hot. Definitely a lot of texture and structure left in this piece of potato. There is something to bite into which is really nice. So you're actually chewing on something. The chicken is chewy. The potato is, uh, I'd say, perfectly chewy. 
this is an excellent meal. There's a bit of spiciness coming through. Um, I think it's mostly pepper though. And some other um, spices to bring out some more flavors that <clears throat> make it taste a bit more Indian. Uh, I wouldn't call it spicy though, that would be a, an overstatement. Some people like really hot food, like really spicy stuff. I like more when you can actually taste the flavors of all the ingredients or the combination of them. This is right up my alley. I really like this one. This is excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna get busy eating this because I'm super hungry. That right there, that just disappeared. I just swallowed it. It was, mm, peanuts were good. Um, I mean this, it looks like a piece of tar, doesn't it? But believe me, you want to eat this. You do, trust me. Mm. So it's a shame to drink something after eating all this because it was fantastic. But I'm really thirsty, so I have to. And after this, I will make the coffee and finish up with that. So, time for the coffee. Same coffee. Nothing to say about it. Cheers. Mm. Maybe these are like micro portions. I feel like I'm always using too much water and this isn't, you know, I can't really show you this without pouring out, but this cup isn't really big. It's like this tall. It's like, it's about as tall as it's wide. Maybe a little bit taller and that's, it's just a, bit more than half full and I still think it's too weak. Maybe it's me, I don't know. So uh, I'm not gonna eat this last hard candy and I'm not gonna eat, well <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna eat the last gum but I'm not gonna open it and use it at least. So I'll leave those two for the stash. Now the only thing I didn't use so far during this entire review of this ration is uh, these disinfection swabs. So it says disinfection swab and it's with alcohol because you see it's got 70% ethanol. And if it wasn't for the glycerol in there, you could probably uh, get drunk on this. <laughs> if you have enough of them. You could probably also use this to start a fire or at least to use it as some kind of uh, tinder or what do you call it, kindling. I'm not sure which is which, but it's got ethanol it's got the warning label, this will burn. But just for the sake of completeness... Oh yeah! <laughs> that smells like vodka. Yeah, there's definitely no like lemon perfume smell thing. This just reeks of alcohol, like pure ethanol alcohol. So this is probably really good for uh, killing off bacteria. Moderately tough, but yeah, it's paper, you can see. It doesn't just fall apart, at least. From this entire ration, this meal was by far the best combination I had. This chicken, it was, I don't know, the best entree I've had so far. I've only had around like five rations or something but I'm predicting that this will be pretty hard to beat. Just like a homemade chicken potato mix, I loved it. This cereal bar, I'd be lying if I said it tastes exactly like Oreo cookies, because it didn't, but it was very similar. Had a bit more fruity taste because, well, obviously there was fruit in it, and it's not the exact same product. I mean, this had rice crisps, and it was very similar in, in uh, taste with the chocolate and the crispy cookie uh, combination. Very nice. The peanuts, uh, I liked those better than the salted peanuts. These were uh, more mild and had the honey sweetness and a little bit of salt as well. So they were really nice to eat. Uh, they tasted really, really nice. The drink, uh, well, I don't know, that was maybe the biggest disappointment, but I guess you could live with that. It's not that important. It's water with nutrition. You know what they're like. You taste one, you've tasted them all basically. And the coffee it is what it is. Better than most dried coffee I've tasted, but still not like the brewed one. So I might have to get some more coffee after I've had this coffee. So until next time, whatever ration that will be, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.